A long-serving Marine in the U.S. military, Sergeant Manuel Logan was fatally shot by police in a high school parking lot, the latest in a string of violent police confrontations. Loggins regularly took his daughters to a high school football field to read the Bible. In his last morning, he was reportedly seen by police speeding and crashing into a gate near the football field. Authorities say he was acting irrationally and refused police orders, leading the deputy to deem him a threat to his daughters. Police, however, have acknowledged that this version of events differs from an earlier account in which the deputy opened fire because he feared for his own life. This was an unarmed individual uh, who was walking away from an armed police officer, uh, was shot more than once in the back. He had no weapon of any kind. We have no evidence of there being a threat. The police have not released the dash cams. Uh, they, they have cameras on their cars, which would have shown the, in, uh, the incident. Uh, there would have been live radio traffic that has been suppressed. Login's friends and colleagues have questioned official accounts of what happened, describing him as a kind family man who would never disobey authorities or jeopardize the safety of his daughters. The Marine's death comes just a week after police shot dead a teenager in his grandmother's apartment in New York. Police say 18-year-old Ramar Lee Graham was attempting to flush a bag of marijuana down the toilet. The boy was unarmed and police did not have a warrant to enter the home. His death sparked days of angry protests by citizens who believed his killing was horrific and unjust. There's been a great deal of frustration within the American community over the abuse of authority by law enforcement officials. Criticisms have mounted following the arrest of hundreds of anti-capitalist protesters across the country and rampant reports of excessive use of force as well as human rights violations by police against mostly peaceful protesters. On Saturday, two occupied Oakland protesters were arrested for allegedly struggling with officers. Ironically, the arrests were made during a weekly march against police brutality.